Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another video on the personal channel. I'm currently in the AMG here on my way to the gym. And today we're just gonna film a, a regular vlog. I'm not doing any filming. Mean, granted, I'm <laughs> filming for this channel, but uh, this is a typical day where I'm not filming for the main channel and not really doing much. So I'm just gonna film a regular vlog. I don't know uh, how interesting it's gonna be for you guys, but I'm still gonna do it. So after the gym, we gotta go do normal stuff like freaking grocery shopping and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't even know yet, but yeah, you guys get to come along. Give me a little AirPods. We're good to go. All right, so now it's gonna look like I didn't even work out because we're sitting in the same spot. But the thing is I walked in and uh, I worked out, but I completely forgot to film. Um, <laughs> I'm not used to filming at the gym. That's probably why. <clears throat> So I got a little 45 minute intensive workout in. Whoops, my thumb's in the way. So I got a little 45 minute intensive workout in, which felt good. Now we're going to Costco. So by the way, we're up here by like Settlers Ridge and Robinson, a place or a part of Pittsburgh. If you're not from Pittsburgh, you don't really know about all this. But if you're from Pittsburgh, this is one of my favorite restaurants. Walnut Grill. And also here in the same area, my other, one of my other favorite restaurants is P.F. Chang's. Now I used to go to the Walnut Grill close to where I used to live, but that place just very weirdly just shut down with like no notice whatsoever to employees or, or anything. It's was, it was real kind of shitty actually, um, but they are rebranding to some other kind of, I don't know what they're doing, but new experience as they call it. So I'm gonna have to check it out once it is uh, up and running, which should be April apparently. But yeah, you guys are getting a bunch of freaking, I guess, useless information because this, this is what you have to do when you're just vlogging. Like, <clears throat> not that I daily vlog, but just vlog about whatever. Working out, not really doing much, just going grocery shopping and stuff like that. <clears throat> I have a lot of people tell me like, hey, just film everything, vlog everything. And I think there's some people that actually want that otherwise they wouldn't be saying it but i believe that the majority of people aren't really interested in this kind of stuff but i'm still gonna film it today i'm still gonna upload it and we'll see how it does so i've never been to costco where i'm able to like park pretty close to the entrance and that is probably because i'm early i don't even know if they're open yet they're probably open at 10 which is going to be very annoying I'm not driving home and then coming back. Yeah, see, people are sitting here waiting in the parking lot. Ugh, it's 20 minutes till they open. Yeah, they open at 10. Damn it. Hey, you know what? I do need gas still, so we'll just go over and get gas first, and then uh, we'll come back and park, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Costco is definitely a lot cheaper uh, with gas. Usually I pay at the moment, like, four dollars and twenty cents here in pa for 93 here it's three dollars and eighty cents so you actually save some money now look at this little dude just chilling what's up buddy how you doing huh <laughs> what are you doing dude my job my dog if the window was cracked that much would jump out if i left and just went into costco he'd bounce Be like i'm out of here and then i'd find him like over here somewhere in the empty parking lot, like looking all confused and regretting his decision. <laughs> That's just what my dog would do. I know it. I know it. This, this little dude right here, he's so well behaved. He just sits there, waits for his owner. Oh, little buddy. So when I go to Costco, I always buy the same stuff. It's like water, coffee. It's gonna be the same today. Big old deer park and I can't lift it. Well, I guess I can maybe. Paper. This is what we need. Big old Duncan. It's agave. See, I don't know. Why, why do you guys want to watch me do this stuff? I'm doing it just for you. Usually I have to pick up stuff like this too, but I, you know what? I actually don't need it. I have plenty at home. I have a dishwasher as well that I'd never use. I hate dishwashers. I wash by hand. Damn, there's a lot of junk in the trunk. Oh, he didn't know I had all this stuff in here. Damn it. 
Whoops. Oh, here are my gloves. Look at all my <laughs> my old plates. I gotta get these. I gotta get those put up in the um, in the garage. like parking right next to the cart thing. I have to walk freaking five miles. Come on, close, close, close. No. There we go. Now I guarantee you that I've forgotten something. It's always the same thing when I <laughs> when I go to the store. I'm like, because I never write it down. I keep it in my in my head. Now, granted, I don't buy that much stuff at a time, but uh, there will be something that I uh, remember that I forgot. So you guys know I, I film a lot from my balcony and the view and all that stuff, which is like up there. But this is the Fort Pitt Tunnel. And for those that haven't been to Pittsburgh before, this is kind of how you get into the city. And it's a pretty unique way to get into a city, especially like a, a bigger city like Pittsburgh. I mean, we're not, you know, top five or anything. I would think we're like top 20 maybe in the country. But it's a decent sized city and it is absolutely beautiful when you get through the tunnel, especially for the first time if you're not used to it. Because once you get out, you see the whole skyline, you see Heinz Field on the left, you see PNC Park, and it's just very, very cool. I don't know any other city, or at least a major city, uh, which has this kind of setup. Now, it does somewhat suck because it's two lanes going in, so it's always traffic unless you're like in the middle of the night or whatever but check this out when we get through the tunnel i deliberately took this little detour on my way home so you guys can see it for those that haven't get out of the way you stupid big old truck look at this it's so cool and you got the bridges this is the fort pitt bridge over there is heinz field up there i live and uh it's just beautiful especially on a pretty day like this I have to say, like, I've, I've been in this city now for over 10 years, and uh, I'm, star I'm starting to, you know, love it more and more. I actually uh, like living in Pittsburgh. I don't like the, the winters, but uh, I, I do like this city. And then uh, just like that, you're like smack in the middle of downtown. Pretty cool. And then the other unique thing about Pittsburgh is that it's a lot of hills, and, you know, it's, it's like just mountainy and stuff like that. And I live up there in a place now called Mount Washington, which is cool because then you're kind of on top of the city, which gives it the dope views. And again, I don't know of many other cities that have that type of setup either, where you can kind of live on, you know, a mountaintop and look down at the skyline. It's just, uh, it's, I just think it's cool. Uh, most cities you might be like, if you live downtown, you're looking kind of up at it. If it's a big, city with a huge skyline and so on but yeah pittsburgh is is pretty unique maybe i should make like a dedicated pittsburgh video maybe i should make uh oh f oh yeah i gotta be careful here i got a massive bent wheel because they got these uh these gutter lids or whatever that are all, like down in the ground so they they turn into oh that one is bad they turn into uh big potholes looking things so i gotta be careful here oh this is the last one Oof. you gotta take it right because if someone's coming there you can't like veer out in that lane because then you're crashing but now i think i'm good anyhow I, I lost my train of thought here now that's annoying but yeah either way uh pittsburgh is, uh, yeah like i said maybe i should make a pittsburgh from the sky or something and just do it with the drone completely that'd be kind of cool maybe i should do that so here's my fridge and uh like a i guess typical dude <laughs> i don't have much in here this is water I guess i'm uh ag1 milk and some drinks i know it's 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 pathetic i gotta buy more stuff but uh we gotta get that water in there there we go so yeah i like having some cold water 
And then I like having some that's not ice cold either. Sometimes I just want to like down a bottle like right away real quick. And if it's too cold, you, you can't really be doing that. This is a good thing, but also an annoying thing. It starts beeping after having the door open for like 20 seconds only. But it is good though if, you know, you actually forget to close it. And the funny thing is they, when they, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but <laughs> this refrigerator is actually a bit too big for this kitchen. As you guys can see, my kitchen is kind of like narrow, which is fine for me because I'm just by myself, but, but the fridge is a little too big. So like you can't really properly open it. It only opens to there. So if you only have that door open, you can hardly like reach in there. So you always have to open both. You got the K cups all loaded in here. Coffee for days. I'm a simple dude. Have some agave, a Keurig, some Rock and Joe coffee cups, and some of my own as well. That's where my morning starts every morning. I, I still, I, I feel like I need to do more with this space here. Just have like two bar chairs. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But anyhow, when we drove through the tunnel, it was uh, behind this eyesore of a building, as you guys can see, and that's the Fort Pitt Bridge. That's where you come out and you see the skyline. You see Heinz Field, uh, even though it's called Akershurst Stadium now, I'm, I'm still gonna call it Heinz Field because that's a stupid name. Yeah, it's pretty. It's like the, the whole skyline sits on what almost looks like a little peninsula. And it ends there with Point State Park. All right, so the next thing on the agenda is to wash up the R7. It hasn't been washed in forever and it's got like a bunch of salt and stuff on it. Um, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm not really gonna film it either because that's, you know, I've filmed car washes a million times already and that's not really what we do on this channel. But I'll show the finished result though, once we're done. All right, she's all cleaned up, but she's shiny. She hasn't looked this good in, uh, I don't know, since like last <laughs> summer maybe. Uh, by the way, she's been dropped off on Monday and fixed. So she'll be back to, to normal. Um, the only thing that doesn't look all good right now is the surface rust on the rotors, but at least she's clean, very clean. I like it. It's such a good looking car. That's just such a great car in general. Best daily. Now, if you haven't seen it before, when I've shown this, um, how tight it is for me to get both cars in here when my buddy Chris is not in town. So currently he's back in Florida, he comes back next week. So I know that he doesn't need to get his car out, obviously, that's when I can have both cars in here. And yeah, it's pretty tight. Whether it's the, the Benz sitting up front here or it's the Audi, it's always that tight because I gotta be able to close the garage door, which will close right here. So we're talking about like a, a few inches in difference and I've kind of learned now. <laughs> how I need to do it and it actually works. So it's great, but once, you know, he's back and stuff, then one of us will have to park outside and for one of the cars, which obviously should be me because I have two, he only has one and that is technically his lane. So yeah, it works though, but I'm happy that I can fit two cars in the garage most of the time. Also, it is officially March 1st today. So this is the first real spring month. I guess you can say that we have in the state of PA. March is always interesting. Now, February has kind of been like March. Like we had some really nice days and then we got like complete winter again and stuff. And that can happen in March as well. We can have 80 degrees or we can have a blizzard. So uh, it's kind of up in the air about what's gonna happen. But the way this year is looking, I think we're, we're gonna have uh, an early spring here. Like I said, Sunday, it's gonna be 69, I'm gonna go off. Monday it's gonna be 71 so it's looking good man I'm looking good that is the obligatory weather report from your boy so um it's actually let me see here 127 and I haven't eaten yet today so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make breakfast and uh, we're gonna end the video I'm not gonna film making breakfast but uh, what I was gonna say was um, it's interesting uh, days where you're really active during the day, like I took a long walk before I even started filming today. And then I, I kind of started filming when I came back and we went to the gym, which I forgot to film, all that stuff. During days like that, um, I actually, I, I don't really feel that hungry, but I can have off days where I'm just sitting on the couch, like watching movies or Netflix or something like that, not moving at all. And I'm like constantly hungry. I'm like constantly eating. It's so weird how that works, but that leads into 
uh, me saying that I will be doing a three day water fast here in the near future. I don't know exactly when, but I want to try it out just to kind of give the digestive system a rest and other benefits that that has. So I will be covering that on this channel as well. Um, so that'll be kind of interesting because I've never done a, a water fast like that before. And uh, yeah, we're gonna end it with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't even know what I'm gonna title it. Um, it's, it's basically a blog about pretty much nothing. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm definitely gonna sit down and edit this and have it up today, March 1st. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna chill out, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I, I get caught. I catch myself doing the outro that I do for the main channel. Um, I don't even know if we need an outro for this channel here, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.